we're gonna do first is I wanna extend my poles out all the way. I don't, I know some people, they like, you know, everything to be super, super snug and, uh, you know, all their fabric really tight. I don't like that. I'd rather have my fabric. She's new. I'm gonna leave this one off. I extend my pulls when I put my fabric on all the way out, and I still keep it loose. I don't want everything stretched really tight because when it gets cold and wet and moist out there, uh, it's just a lot harder to pack up, and you're prone to rips and stuff. Um, I don't mind seeing my shack with a little droop in the ceiling, a little sag here and there. I like the extra fabric. I don't want everything really tight. So I'm gonna put my poles out all the way. As far as it'll go, extended, before I throw my canvas on. Holes. They're new, they slide a little harder, but they do have holes pre-drilled up in here for lubrication to make it a lot easier to slide in and out. Alright, so I got my poles extended out. Now I'm going to come over here and get all my wind poles. And I want to put my wind poles in so that way my frame is standing up by itself. And this is kind of a guessing game until you get it up. Try to put everything as close to the middle as I can. So when I put my canvas on it, helps it out a little bit. I'm going to unwrap the canvas and uh, get that slung over and show you what's next. But uh, yeah, get her all put together. It only takes a minute to get the frame up, unless you're shooting a video. But I'm going to get that canvas unwrapped and laid over it, and then I'll show you guys how to fasten that thing. Hey guys, so I took a little time off from putting the shanty together and I'm gonna get back after it today. Um, I went fishing. So when somebody calls and says you wanna go fishing, you drop what you're doing and you go fishing. So we threw, the, we threw the canvas on the last time we were working on it. And what I did now is I came in and I put all my Velcros, I, I snapped all my Velcros in place, put all my poles in place and we're gonna start putting the bead lock on our, the bottom here, and I'm gonna show you something. As you can see, I got all my poles extended to the max, but I still keep my, my canvas pretty loose. I want my canvas always loose. I know a lot of people want it stretched tight and it looks pretty, but when it starts getting moist out, you run it through slush, um, you know, then it's freezing. It's just hard to put up and down and the zippers get stuck. So I, I, I want my stuff nice and loose and, and limber because I don't bring my stuff in the house or in the shed every night and thaw it out like most people. Uh, this stuff will stay in the trailer for a good two months and it works every single day. So I just don't have time for that. 
So I'm going to show you something here. We're going to put the beadlock on. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And I really wanted to, to make sure I had a cam camera for this part because a lot of people make the mistake of pulling their canvas super tight and putting it underneath of their tub and then putting their trim lock on. I don't do that. You can see there's a hemmed edge on this canvas right here. And all I wanna do is I just wanna put that hemmed edge under that lip. I don't wanna pull my canvas super tight. Then you just take your trim lock with your 45 degree angle side right here. That goes in and I just work it along. I'll come up here, just put my bead or my hemmed edge underneath the lip and I'll start my trim lock just like that and I'll just keep working it. And it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Like here, it's a little bit more in the center. I just kind of pull up on it, lock my trim lock in like that. I can feel that hemmed edge. I just want to roll it under that tub. Lock my trim lock in. Not that difficult. I want to keep my fabric nice and straight though. I don't want to end up with an edge that's too tight. There we go. I just use the I just use the bottom of my fingers to hold that hemmed edge under there while I pop that trim lock on. And once you get it on, you can put your trim lock or your hemmed edge wherever you want it. And this trim lock will slide so you can get her right into place where you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this and I'll uh, pick back up after I'm done. All right, guys, I just finished up with the shanty. I got the trim lock on, and what I did was I had Lisa put a couple screws in. It comes with a package of screws. You don't have to use them. It says they're optional. I like to use them just because of the excessive wear and tear and, and traveling across the bay I do. So this thing is completely done now. Um, I went fishing yesterday, so I can't really put a rough idea on how long it took me, but. I bet you I had an hour and 10 into it. Not too bad. I hope some of these uh, tips and tricks help, help you guys out on getting your shanty together. Um, it is a little bit intimidating at first, but it's not a big deal. It's no problem. And everything looks just the way I want it. I got plenty of movable material. This thing's ready. I'm gonna fold it up, throw it in the trailer, and it's ready for ice fishing. Talk to you guys later.